there are countless aviation movies, and some rise beyond pure Hollywood spectacle and capture the essence of flying, like 2016's Solly, or if we go a little further back, 1965's British period comedy, Those Magnificent Men in Their Flying Machines. With a star-studded lineup that, apart from showing spectacular flying, gave a great portrait of the flying spirit in the early days of aviation. Today it can be difficult to imagine those early days of flying, although there are many great museums around the world with often impressive static displays trying to convey those early days of flying. But it's not all static. from the rush of the big cities on the west coast of Jutland in Denmark, specifically near the small and seldom used airport in Stauning, we find a true aviation gem. It is the Danish Aircraft Museum and yes, there is an impressive static display of military and civilian aircraft alike, from mass-produced to experimental, from life-sized to scale model. If you love aviation, you won't be disappointed. What, however, makes the Danish Aircraft Museum even more special is the impressive amount of aircraft lovingly being maintained so that they every summer can take to the skies. <laughs> Every winter, when, uh, when the weather is bad here in, in Scandinavia, we don't have any air shows, and uh, so it's in the autumn, we uh, service the aeroplanes with new oil and inhibit the engines so they won't corrode, and, uh, and park them for the winter. And then uh, by mid-April every year, usually, we come together and uh, work on the aeroplanes to prepare them for flight during the summer season. A club of about 100 volunteers operate the museum and keep the planes running. Our purpose is to show and tell about aviation in Denmark through the years. It's all done by volunteers and we are around 100 volunteers that cover a wide range. Like for example today, where we are preparing the planes for the new flying season. That's done by pilots and mechanics and they're those who restore historic Air Force planes or people that build plane models. The members, while often having some background in the aviation industry, do come from all shades of life. I think uh, part of the reason I'm out here at the Danish uh, Aircraft Museum is uh, sort of the legacy. I was uh, basically almost uh, brought up uh, out here. So I've just uh, basically grown into the place. But uh, along with it came a in general interest for, uh, for flying. But uh, I'm working uh, with a, a company called uh, Nell Hydrogen, uh, located near Herning, who is actually making refueling stations for hydrogen cars, which is the complete opposite side of the spectrum. So uh, where you have the old vintage airplanes here with engines that have been around since the 1930s. This is really old, uh, very simple technology. Uh, in my daily day I'm working with, uh, let's say, the more advanced end of the uh, cutting-edge uh, new fueling technologies. Oh, vintage aircraft are real aeroplanes. I like uh, to work with aeroplanes made from, from uh, wood and um, fabric, piston engines. And uh, they're nice to fly and uh, I like the, the sounds and the, the smell and everything. With club members having a wide range of backgrounds, it is important to mention that of course not any member can go do maintenance on their own, as this is done strictly by the book and always under supervision. Those checks of the planes that are done today, it's the mechanic that is responsible, but he can nominate one person to help him. 
Or there also had an overordnate chief. And there has also been a supervisor for the day who is responsible for all the paperwork. So it's not just something you do easily, but everything is noted down. With the paperwork in order, the volunteers can focus on their passion. And passion is for sure the key, with so many hours spent on those aircraft before they can even think about getting them into flight. Let's say the mot motivation for tinkering with them definitely comes from the aspect of being able to fly them afterwards. So uh, yeah, the, the, the flying part is the motivation. And uh, let's say the maintenance part is, uh, let's say, an, an uh, for me as an engineer, it's an intellectual uh, award uh, and also uh, very satisfactory to be able to tinker some part, like if something is broken, fix it in the best possible way. Oh, they're slow <laughs> and noisy. And, uh, and it's it, working on them, it's not like, like big modern aeroplanes. Uh, you uh, take some parts out and put some other parts in. Here, you really have to fix things and, and, and uh, do handiwork and uh, make adjustments and things. It's, uh, it's uh, quite nice to do. And then later on when you fly the aeroplane, you say, yes, this, this was good. The club is taking part in air shows around Denmark and sometimes abroad. But in preparation and to maintain certificates, the planes are taken out of the hangars during summer and do also get to fly around the museum. A spectacle visitors can enjoy during the summer when the museum is open until late in the evenings. You know, we go to air shows all over the country. Sometimes we've been to Germany or to Sweden to, with some aeroplanes to, to take part in air shows. And uh, after long travel, of course, it's, it's nice to put the aeroplane in, clean the oil off and... Uh, and uh, sit and drink coffee or have a beer and, uh, and talk about it. So just like in the movie, those magnificent men in their flying machines, here at the Danish Aircraft Museum you get to experience the true passion and fascination for yesterday's aviation, all kept alive by a club of 100 men and women. <laughs>